skewed. That's all the time we have, but don't go away. Southern New England's leading 6 o'clock news is up next with Doug White and Ginger Casey. I'm Patrice Wood, and I'll see you tomorrow on Newswatch 10 at noon and up front at 5.30. Stay tuned. The news continues. Now, Mike, this camping trip is real important. I don't want to argue about vehicles. Let's take my GMC Safari van. Oh, come on, Al. A van in the woods? Why not? It has all-wheel drive and it's got plenty of cargo space. Listen, Al, we need my full-size Sierra pickup with four-wheel drive. Hold on. Steve's here. Hey, if you're talking about the camping trip, we definitely have to take my new S15 Jimmy. It's got powerful V6 and it's comfortable to boot. Nah, my man. No, my Jimmy. See, my Even when we were kids, we could never woods. agree on things like this. Great sandwiches of our times, from Frankfurt, Germany, the hot dog dating back to Middle Ages. The hamburger, introduced at the St. Louis Expo, 1904. Then in 1957, the sandwich of all sandwiches is created at Waltz Roast Beef, where they're still making them today the same way. Slow roasted and trimmed, so you get lean, tender, juicy beef with very little fat. Order yours just the way you like it, and enjoy a taste of history at Waltz Roast Beef, where the greatness carries on. Follow me, men. George, get out of that boat and come with me to Furniture City's President's Day Sale now. During Furniture City's fantastic President's Day Sale, we have hundreds of living room, bedroom, and dining room packages, plus recliners, bedding, desks, and more at their lowest prices ever. Martha, do they have any cherry furniture there? George, not that again. Furniture City is located in New Bedford, Fall River, Malden, and Quincy. In Newport, we've always had a knack for restoring things. But what we're saving now isn't just another house, another mansion. At the Vanderbilt Rehabilitation Center, we're restoring something even more important. The victims of sudden physical handicaps. Call us, because in a city known for its magnificent restorations, some are more magnificent than others. WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. From the cornerstone of Southern New England Broadcasting, first with the news, from generation to generation, into the 90s and beyond, this is News Watch 10 at 6. A battle against flame and freezing temperatures in Newport. And going on the offensive against the crime that's terrorizing the nation. Good evening, I'm Ginger Casey. And I'm Doug White. Day after day, it moves into another city until finally it becomes a real problem nationwide. But lawmakers here want to stop carjackers in their tracks. Well, we'll be back with more of Newswatch 10 at 6 in just a moment. Coming up next, Gary Lay will join us with his forecast. And if you are sick of winter and you're tempted to feel sorry for yourself, check it out. You could be contending with this. Gary will tell us more. Plus, a little later, an old-fashioned barn racing. No hoedown, but stick around anyway. Going on inside a Rhode Island institution may disturb you. They just like to lock up people. A retarded man thrown in with the insane. And the only thing you can't do in this system is kill people. But even that, they come close to. Accusations of abusive staff, rights violations, and beatings. It's not a pretty sight inside. A Newswatch 10 camera gives you a first look inside a world some have called inhuman. They don't care about me. They don't care. 
Diana Couch reports Insane Justice Wednesday at 6 on Newswatch 10. Alpert's knocks the stuffing out of bedding prices. Hi, this is John. We are clearing out our 1992 Sealy and Stearns and Foster bedding. At Alpert's today, every mattress, every box spring, every size, and every firmness is on sale. Alpert's Sealy prices start at $39.95 twin size each piece. Today, buy your bedding with no money down, no finance charges, and no monthly payments till June 1993. The Alpert's Mattress Clearance Sale. Route 6, Seekonk. If you've been thinking about getting a fixed-rate home equity loan, take note. Right now, rates on Citizens Bank home equity loans are the lowest they've been in a long time. How low? Apply at any Citizens branch or call our loan line, and we'll give you the lowdown. for people taking Cardizem. I need a refill on my Cardizem. You may want to see your doctor before your next refill because there's another Cardizem available. Cardizem CD. What's the difference? Cardizem CD should save you money. Can you give me Cardizem CD? Only your doctor can change your prescription. Ask your doctor if Cardizem CD is right for you. Cardizem CD. Thanks. I'll ask my doctor. We ask people everywhere how they like the Pontiac Grand Am. This is a beautiful car. It's gorgeous. I love this style. We told them about Grand Am's three-year no-deductible warranty. Bumper to bumper warranty. And it's free? Then we told them they could get $1,000 cash back on Grand Am. That's a good deal. That's a real good deal. Grand Am is an excellent value. Everybody likes cash back. $1,000 cash back. See what you think about Grand Am. See your New England Pontiac dealers now. I'm going to get one. That's, that's great. Gary's been singing here that he's on his way to Rio. Yes, but uh, when we show you these pictures out of Rio, which, remember, it's midsummer in Rio now, if it's midwinter here, uh, I'm not sure that you might want to go. Think again, right? That's right, for sure. We start out again tonight with our first birthday, wishing happy birthdays to Jenna Alexandra Impaliazzo. How'd I do? Hey, that's great. Very well. Dude. Thank you very much. Very well. Very, very nice. <laughs> Shelby Danielle Reynolds, happy birthday to you. And Amanda Rose oh, Carell, so happy birthday to you. Let's go to Rio. Take a quick flight on our, well, I guess our video cam as we head uh, international. This is uh, Buenos Aires, as you can see. A lot of flooding, a serious problem down there. Uh, eight people have lost their uh, fatality. fatality. I'm sorry? I thought it was Rio. Oh, well, close enough. <laughs> it's just Argentina versus uh, Brazil. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But you can see uh, the, the major problems they're having down there. Uh, and again, this uh, being midsummer in the southern hemisphere. Right now we have 29 outside. Our dew point temperature stands at just 9 degrees, so the air is very dry. Relative humidity at 42%. 35 and 16, the high and the low. I was just ch uh, testing uh, Ginger and Doug, making sure they were really paying attention. It, test worked. 27 here in the city now, or at the airport. 24 as you get out to the Cape, and 24 also Block Island. A lot of clear skies today. We enjoyed some sunshine, but boy, it was cold. Now we have some warmer air trying to push in, and that will occur overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. In fact, you see a few clouds going by, those clouds occurring as the wind shifted into the south. Looking to the west, then we have another batch of clear, and then some more clouds coming in here. These clouds are associated with the warm front directly. That warm front will be just to our west tomorrow morning. It'll be cold for a while this evening, but then with the southerly winds continuing to blow our temperatures will stabilize it won't be as cold tomorrow morning as it was this morning here's our 10 salute it's post office box 10 02901 in case you uh, want to drop us a, a 10 salute i think my weakness was reading <laughs> it says it says when there's right there <laughs> he was a uh, he was a commander in the uh, the navy that's right our side well it certainly it says a lot it goes a long lucky, way to explaining lucky it was our side too <laughs> thanks gary thanks gary it's sports more retirement talk from the Celtics camp. Yeah, that's right. Another one of the big three is considering calling it quits. That's right. Uh, we'll tell you about a report that says that the season may be it for one of the Celtic veterans. Coming up on Southern New England's leading news station, is he in or is he out after the season? One of Kevin McHale's teammates talks about number 32. Then it was a day of celebration that sparked violence. What happened in Dallas? We'll show you next. Yeah.